There's something deeply humbling about looking up into the night sky, knowing that those tiny dots of light are not just stars, but possibly entire galaxies, countless suns, and maybe, just maybe, homes to other forms of life. I've spent my life narrating the vast wonders of space, sharing the mysteries of the cosmos, and today, I want to take you on a journey into one of the most fascinating questions of all time. Are we the first civilization in the universe? This question might sound simple, even poetic, but behind it lies a mystery so profound that it has puzzled some of the greatest minds of our time. It all began with a man named Enrico Fermi, a brilliant physicist who once asked a simple but powerful question over lunch with his colleagues. If the universe is so vast, where is everybody? That one question sparked what we now call the Fermi Paradox. The idea is this. The universe is unimaginably huge. There are more stars in the cosmos than grains of sand on all the beaches of Earth. Many of these stars have planets orbiting them, some very much like our own Earth. Given the vast amount of time and space available, it seems logical that intelligent life should have emerged somewhere else by now. So why haven't we found it? One hypothesis that tries to answer this mystery is the idea that we, humans, might actually be the very first civilization to emerge. The first to build cities, to look up at the stars and wonder, to create telescopes and spacecrafts. It's a bold and somewhat lonely thought. But until recently, it was a theory that had some compelling logic behind it. You see, for a long time, scientists believed that the early universe simply wasn't ready to host life. After the Big Bang, around 13.7 billion years ago, the universe was mostly filled with hydrogen and helium. Heavier elements like carbon, oxygen and iron, which are essential for life as we know it, hadn't been formed yet. These heavier elements, known as metals in astronomy, are created in the hearts of stars. When stars live out their life cycles and die, especially in massive explosions called supernovae, they release these elements into space. It takes multiple generations of stars to enrich galaxies with enough of these building blocks for life. So the thinking was, it must have taken billions of years after the Big Bang for the right conditions to even begin to exist. That's why our solar system seemed unusually early. The Sun was born around 5 billion years ago, which is less than 9 billion years after the Big Bang. Given how long it takes for stars to produce life-essential elements, Earth seemed like it was formed just in time, maybe even a bit early. If it took that long for the right conditions to arise, then it made sense that intelligent life like ours would also need that long to appear. Hence, we could be the first. But something has changed. Recently, the James Webb Space Telescope, arguably the most powerful space observatory ever built, made a discovery that might flip this entire idea on its head. You may have heard of a galaxy called Jade's GS Z13. It's one of the most distant galaxies ever observed and the light from it has traveled 13.4 billion years to reach us. That means we're seeing it as it was just a few hundred million years after the Big Bang. Already that's astonishing. Galaxies forming so soon after the birth of the universe? That alone is a surprise. But what scientists found next was even more shocking. When they analyzed the light spectrum from this galaxy, they found strong signatures of oxygen and other heavy elements. Now why is that such a big deal? Remember how I said that heavy elements like oxygen aren't made in the Big Bang? They require stars to form, live out their lives and explode. For there to be that much oxygen in a galaxy just 300 million years after the Big Bang, it means that stars had already formed, gone supernova and spread their elements into space and that had to start happening even earlier. Some scientists estimate that these stars must have formed at least 100 million years before the galaxy we're observing. That's a breathtaking revelation. What this tells us is that the universe became chemically ready for life much earlier than we thought. If galaxies had enough heavy elements only a few hundred million years after the Big Bang, then planets could have formed and potentially so could life. 
That means there could have been other Earth-like planets with the necessary ingredients for life billions of years before our own solar system ever existed. And now we come back to our original question. Are we really the first civilization? If these findings hold true, and scientists continue to validate them, then the argument that humanity is the first intelligent civilization becomes far less convincing. The universe may have been habitable far earlier than we assumed. And if that's the case, then other intelligent life may have had a significant head start on us. But here's the strange twist. Despite this new possibility, we still haven't found them. No radio signals, no spacecrafts, no evidence, nothing. The silence continues. And that deepens the Fermi paradox even more. Maybe they're too far away. Maybe they've moved on to forms of communication we can't detect. Maybe intelligent life is incredibly rare, or it doesn't last very long. Or maybe they're out there, and we just haven't looked in the right way yet. It's also possible that intelligent civilizations tend to self-destruct before they can make contact with others. Or they may exist in ways we don't yet understand. Life could look completely different from what we imagine. We're limited by our own experience and biology. But let's not lose hope. Discoveries like the one from the James Webb Space Telescope remind us that the universe still holds many secrets. Every time we build a better tool or ask a better question, we inch closer to answers. And even if we are the first, what an incredible responsibility that is. To be the first to reach this level of awareness, to be the first to explore, to create, to imagine. Maybe we're not alone. Maybe others came before us. Maybe others will come after us. But right now we are here. And that alone is a miracle worth pondering. So the next time you look up at the stars, remember this. The light you see is ancient. Some of it has been traveling since before Earth existed. And we now know that even in those early moments of the universe, stars were being born, galaxies were forming, and heavy elements, perhaps even the ingredients of life, were already coming together. We may not yet have the answers to the Fermi paradox. We may not know if we're the first or the only or just one among many. But what we do know is that the story of the universe is far more dynamic, surprising and awe-inspiring than we ever imagined. And that journey, the journey of discovery, is far from over.